Uh, so in my session, I'm going to be talking about the actual cases I've been involved with where I tracked uh, thieves. So I developed technology that actually uses a, turns a device into a, uh, a sensor of sorts um, and allows it to defend itself um, by actually gathering information uh, from web cameras or um, other sensors such as Wi-Fi um, and actually sends that information to the owner of the device. Um, and in the process, I, I learned a lot about how malware works um, by basically taking tools and technologies that hackers were using and you know, uh, sort of turning the tables and actually allowing that to empower consumers to recover their stolen devices. Um, but through that process as well, I learned a lot more about how malware works, how hackers actually infiltrate um, you know, a device, for example. Um, and then also, I uh, will discuss how I also had to apply other um, investigative techniques to use social media or gather information from images, for example, um, to help um, aid in those cases as well. So I'll also be talking about how you know, there's that sort of side where I'm helping that to, uh, to track criminals, but criminals can also use that information to track you. Uh, so I'll be talking about how consumers can uh, do more things to protect their own privacy, as well as how businesses can actually um, filter out information and data uh, by not storing it or uh, so, uh, sort of sanitizing images and things like that um, so that they can actually protect uh, their consumers' privacy as well. A uh, really good case was actually here in Portland, Oregon, uh, where I helped uh, police actually recover um, stolen laptops and unveil a very organized crime ring. Um, there was um, a group that was repeatedly stealing uh, laptops from various schools. Um, I had reached out to them. Uh, we were able to utilize technology I developed and installed it on laptops. They were then uh, stolen about a week later. Uh, we tracked uh, those laptops to a house in Vancouver, Washington. Uh, we ended up arresting six different people in that particular case um, and actually unveiled a very organized crime group um, and some of those folks were wanted for other crimes as well. Um, I'm passionate about security I think because I like to empower consumers and businesses um, having them understand how uh, cybercrime works for example um, how they can better protect themselves. Um, I'm very fascinated with um, hacker culture in general um, how they're able to subvert technology um, and sort of draw connections um, between various technologies and pieces of data um, and connecting those dots is just something I really love to do um, and in security I think you, you have an opportunity to, to do that more so than uh, other um, areas even in technology. I think one thing I've learned here is that a lot of devices actually gather more data. When we deal with the Internet of Things there's a lot more data that's actually being generated um, as a result of that. Um, I'm not necessarily concerned about the uh, security of the devices themselves, but more the data that's being generated and stored on servers, for example. Um, what I've also seen is that there's what I call boogie data. It's data that may not be um, dangerous now, but down the road, um, when there's new technology to harvest that information or a way to tie that to a device and a particular person, um, that information can come back and haunt us later.